Hi guys, Dave Andrade from the Post Color Blog. I'm making a really quick video here. A while back, well a little while back I guess, I made a video regarding denoising your footage using the built-in effects within Adobe After Effects. It was somewhat, I guess, of a laborious task. Um, you did have to import the footage and apply all the effects, make the adjustments, um, things along those lines. So what I did was went ahead and provided you guys with the project file. So if you look into the description below, it's going to give you a link not only to the actual project file for After Effects, but also the footage that you see here, which is the same one that I used in the actual video back then. And it's really easy to go ahead and adjust this footage for whatever footage you may have, and I'll show you that right now. So let's go ahead and right click here. We're gonna to go to import, file. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna to navigate to my desktop and we can pick any particular footage. Let's go ahead and choose maybe this. Now what I'll do is click on the one I wanna replace, hold down the alt or option on a Mac, come over and drop it down. You can see that it changes it. Same thing down here because the footage needs to be on the top and bottom. So let's uh, make sure that's selected. Hold Alt, bring it down. And there we go. Now let me go ahead and put the eyeball on here just so I can show you. And you can see where it makes the mat for us where uh, you have the white part is that's going to be affected by the uh, adjustment layer here and the black which won't. Now I've included all the effects. Let me go ahead and show you. We have the tint, the levels, and all the other effects that were in that video. On the adjustment layer, I've already applied the remove grain effect. Obviously, you'll have to tweak these settings. Primarily, what you'll have to do is obviously adjust the noise removal settings within this effect. And on this particular footage, the biggest thing you'll have to be concerned with is just the levels. I'll try to make this neutral. Um, worst case scenario, if... Uh, if I drop the ball, so to speak, uh, just go ahead and hit, hit the reset button and that will bring everything back to the default settings within that particular effect and you'll be able to make the adjustments accordingly. What you want to keep an eye on, just as a side note, which I didn't really address in the other video, is to get the input black and input white relatively close. Otherwise, you'll start to have a lot of gray areas, which really isn't that bad. It will still be affected, but just to a different percentage. But if you really want definitive lines between the two, then go ahead and get these as close as possible. I would still leave the flat fast blur on there just so you don't have that immediate transition between where it's being denoised and where it's not being affected. But anyway, I hope that helps. I know a lot of people were doing it manually and some people said, you know, it's a good idea, but it's a matter of doing all those particular steps. So I hope that this download will help you along. And you, you, again, you can use my footage. If you don't have footage to test it on right, right now, then go ahead and use my footage to take a look. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. I have a lot more tutorials already lined up and ready to go. So again, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys soon.